Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do for you a tutorial using one of my Natasha Denoner's palettes. And this is her new one. This is a sunrise palette. Absolutely beautiful. This is smaller than her regular palettes. This is her um, sunset palette. And I'm going to put them next to each other and you will see the difference in sizes and this is also retails for $65 which is almost half price as the big ones and they have a little hole uh the back over there and I think the holes are for if you want to pop in here and take out a shadow and carry it with you I think that's a really smart idea I really hope all her palettes will be this size because this is a pretty good size and it's also pretty affordable I mean I know $65 is still a lot of money but compared to her other palettes this is good. The colors are gorgeous. Just beautiful. Look at this range right here. I'll be doing some swatches on Instagram later. Uh, right now I just want to get to the look. I'll start off with this one and that's the, the yellowy shade and this is Carnelian and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I've zoomed you in all. I've already primed my eyelids. I use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C5 and I set that using my Derma Blend Blue Setting Powder and in the shade Cool Beige. I hope this will come out clear. So we'll go ahead with Carnelian. That's all. I just picked a little bit of it and I'll put that in up here. And I'm using a Morphe M456. I'm going to put a little bit more. Look at that. It's I just picked on a real tiny amount of shade and it's already showing. Okay, next I'm going to pick this color which is Jasper orangish shade and I'm going to put that on right on top of that Carnelian. Oh my god. Look at that. And I didn't even touch a lot. Oh, this might just be my favorite Natasha Denona's palette. Oh, look at that. I can't even finish a sentence. This is how excited I am. It looks like a flame. Um, I've seen so many looks already on YouTube with this palette, but the look I really liked is the one by um, Makeup Shiler, which is kind of what I'm trying to to dupe. Hopefully I'm not as good as Shayla, but one day I'll be there. I'm going to go in with Clove. So this is kind of giving it some pink vibes, which, which I like. I'm just tapping it in right now and then I'll blend it in later. Oh, come on camera, thanks. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite blending blush. <laughs> I'm gonna use my favorite, br ah, Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna uh, blend all that, blend, 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 blend. I'm going to attempt a cut crease and I'll be using the eyeshadow base. Mine is the NARS eyeshadow base in uh, it just says smudge proof eyeshadow base. So I'm really practicing how to do this and hopefully this works. The trick I am learning is you put it all in there and then you look up and where it hits right there is how far you should cut the crease. I know it looks ridiculous right now, but we'll work with it and we'll see how this look comes out. All right, I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is Glory, and I'm gonna put that on the corners of my eye, uh, like a halo look. Oh my God. Bam! She was not playing when she came up with this palette. I'm using a Morphe M124 flat brush for this. She took Azalea, which is this shade, this one, and I'm going to put it in the middle of Glory. I want that shade to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to use my Inglot Duraline, and this is a mixing liquid, and they know, mixing liquids just make anything pop a little bit more. Uh, if you have like an eyeshadow that has dried, you can use this. If you have an eyeliner that has dried out you can mix with this basically it's just a mixing liquid for everything because I think my eyeshadow base dried out okay that's working to 
do a little bit on here too. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go in with Poppy, that, and blend the two, oh, what did I do? Blend the two, the shimmer, this shimmer here and that one. Yeah, it kind of just makes it look like a, like a seamless blend of shades. I'm gonna go in with a gate right here and Miss Shayla, she put it above, like right there to kind of like pop the look a bit. I'm gonna try that. Like I said, I'm trying to, to dupe her look. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. Oh boy. I went back in with Glory, which is what was that really bright pink color. And I added it on the side to, to do the halo again, and I just blended it out. I like it better that way. The, the cove was a little dark for me, and I think it was kind of making my look a little bit muddy, and I didn't like that. I just wanted like a nice, smooth, seamless look. So I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner, and I'm gonna line my eyes with that, and I'm gonna be using an angled brush. And I don't know how to talk through this, so I'm gonna have to keep quiet because I, I have to hold my eye like this and really concentrate. If I'm out of frame, oh well, forgive me guys, but I'm gonna try and do this on camera. Now I'm all gonna be in frame for this. So I'm gonna go off camera and line my eyes because I really need to come close to the mirror and you guys are not gonna be able to see me and I'll be back. I'm gonna go back in with Glory. I'm gonna smudge the lower, my lower lid. I'm always afraid I'm gonna poke my eye. Oh yeah, and I went in and I created a, a little small baby wing. I had some little bit of shimmer right here, which is okay. I'm also gonna go in with Jasper, that orangish brownish look, and also put it at the bottom of Glory. I love this palette. I'm I'm really enjoying using this palette. All right, to do my face, you know, I haven't, I've not put any eyelashes yet. Um, you know what, I need to do that. I went in and popped my lashes and I used, today I used the uh, Miss, what is this? Miss 3D Volume Lash is Lashes in number M104. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and I have an oily forehead. So the, I'm gonna be using the Becker Ever Matte Pore primer and um, a trick I was told by the ladies at Sephora is warm this up in your fingers like that and push it on wherever you you know wherever you're oily and for me my most problematic areas is my forehead because if you do this it's gonna be streaky it's gonna be it's not gonna look good and mine is here too Okay, for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Fazali Skin Tune Blur Primer, and it's really, really thick also. Uh, so I'm going to just take a little bit. And I like, I, I really like how this makes my foundation look. Okay, I think I'm going to step back a bit so you can see this. Oh, camera, come on, focus. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the new Juvia's Place foundation, and I went to Alter, and I am in the shade Gabon, which is 300 uh, for now summer because it's real hot and I tend to darken. Over winter, I will switch to 240, which is Lagos. You don't even need a lot in this foundation. Oh, it's, it's sealed. It's my first time trying this. It, it's, um, it's a matte foundation and you don't need a lot. And oh, oh, that's, that's just not opening. Hold on. The coverage, oh my God, it's it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. That looks so good. Beautiful. I am going to put concealer and this is the medium dark three R Monday. This is Nanara's concealer. And I don't put a lot, usually I just Beauty Blender.
these two are working pretty well. That's the, the Juvia's Place and the NARS uh, concealer. That's gorgeous. I love that. I'm gonna set that and I'm gonna be using the Cover FX setting powder and this is in translucent dip and I really love this powder. I mean it has this little sift thing here and your powder is in there so it, it, it prevents a lot of messes especially when you're traveling. So you set that up, set that concealer and I usually don't bake for a very long time. I don't. And I tried using the lighter translucent powders to set my eyeshadow, but to me they were coming out so white and so ashy. That's why I'd, I opted for the darker, the darker shades. To me, they, they seem to work way better for me that way. It's gonna wet that powder off. Okay. I'm liking how everything is coming out. I really like this look. I gotta say, I think this is my favorite Natasha Denona's palette so far. I really really like it. I'm contouring and I'll be using my Fenty Beauty powder in Mokamami and we all know this is really really pigmented so just get very very little of it. Mm. I have put too much. I don't know. See how pigmented that is? Okay, I'm gonna put a highlighter and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Cinnamon and it's not too, too bright because I don't like very bright highlighter. Never mind, I'm just gonna do this. Disperse it. Put it up there. And put some up there and just... Uh... Okay, that's not working with my brush my beauty blend it's still like my beauty blend is a little bit wet okay I do the same thing on this side all right for my blush I uh, will be using the Juvia's Place Sahara blush volume one and I'm gonna use a stippling brush and I got these also from Sigma and they look like this and they are very you know the stippling brushes don't pick up a lot of product which is what I want and I'm gonna be using, I think I'll use, oh, I think I'll use this shade for my blush. Just. That's a perfect amount. I'm gonna put some more. Okay, ooh, I put too much. Let me try blend that out. I think I got a little bit too excited. Still using my beauty blender. Kind of spread all that around. So I went in and finished my face because it was beginning to get dark. I wanted to just to finish my face so I could bring you guys a whole look. I went in after contouring, I set my face and I used the Morphe setting spray. I absolutely love this continuous mist. And I popped in um, this Sissy's Closet head wrap and they are based in New York. And then I also put in a lipstick and this is called Jungle Fever and this lip two lipsticks I got them from Kenya which is where I'm originally from and these are from Pauline Cosmetics uh, with collaboration with Caroline Mutoko those guys those of you from Kenya know who I'm talking about and they have this line of lipsticks and they are um, they are matte lipsticks but they are very very comfortable on the lips amazing I absolutely really love them and this is how jungle fever looks like and i told you guys i don't care if it's maroon or whatever i pop them in summertime fall time i don't have a i don't have a season then this one is called epic nude and it is a brown uh, i'm gonna give you guys a swatch look at that kind of almost looks like what i'm wearing but this is in a brown this looks brown from the tube so i'm gonna swatch the jungle fever which is what i have on right next to epic nude oh yeah there's a difference what? so this is what i have on right now this is jungle fever jungle fever and this is epic nude and if you can try them out they are lovely lovely li lipsticks and i tried it on yesterday i ate and when i came back i still had a little bit on my lips left 
but they're lipstick so they're gonna you know they're gonna come out they're not like liquid lipsticks but for a lipstick i give them an a i really really love them they're comfortable caroline mutoko pauline you guys did a good job with these ones fantastic and that's all and i popped some earrings again these are from my country kenya and i just wanted to oh the sun has come up and i just wanted to show you guys um you know what the whole look looks like so let me know what you think i'm gonna do the swatches for that palette on instagram it's a little bit easier sometimes to do that on instagram thank you guys so much for watching and uh as usual be kind to others and be kind to yourselves and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>